Hey guys, Jim Gass, President of Supply Center, and your virtual CIO here again this week. I want to thank everyone for watching last week's video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you haven't had the time to take a look at it, you can find it on the same webpage that this is on. But this week we're going to take a little bit of time and talk about Dropbox and whether it's safe or not. So when I talk about Dropbox, this is really more of a general category of solutions that are out there on the web. And this category is called file synchronization and sharing applications. And Dropbox is just one of them. There's Microsoft SkyDrive, there's Google Drive, there's SugarSync, and the list goes on and on. But what the real thing that people are asking me, the question that comes up more than anything else is, are these programs safe? And this is something you should definitely be concerned about because, honestly, security of your data is utmost in your business. There's no question about that. The short answer is no, they're not safe. The fact of the matter is, any technology, if it's not used and it's not managed properly, is not safe and it's not secure. So how can we ensure that we're getting the, the technologies into the hands of the employees and staff that need them, but maintain security and usability at the same time? You see, this type of hosted technology is actually becoming one of the largest areas of subscription-based service offerings on the Internet today. And just like any other service offering on the Internet, it's definitely open for attackers and hackers, people that are trying to get to your data for whatever reason that might be. I mean, we all know the old scenario. We're at work, we want to go home, we've got stuff to do with the kids, we want to get, to get out on a date or whatever it might be. And we're working on a document and we need access to it from home. So what do we do? We throw it up to our Dropbox account, we sync it up there, and then we go home and it's synchronized down there so we can work on it later on tonight. We work on it, we send it back to put it back in our sync folder, and it goes right back up to the office so it's ready for us there in the morning. But do you realize that that sync folder that you've used is accessible to anybody on your home computer. Your friends, your, 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 your kids, their, your kids' friends. You know, I'm not worried so much about our friends and our kids' friends um, tampering with the data or getting to it and you know, distributing it to somebody. I'm more worried in that situation about them accessing it, potentially deleting it, and not really knowing it. And then just like any other piece of data, if it's not in your network server, it may not be recoverable. Some cases, it's not possible to get it back at all. And then there's that other scenario that uh, let's suppose we find another job or let's suppose we're let go. You know, how do we get the information from that employee that has left for whatever reason and ensure that they don't have access to the information in the future? We've been in situations where some of our employees, uh, some of the employees that our customers have been synchronizing data to a Dropbox folder and the employer didn't know until six, nine months later um, when somebody used that computer for some reason and found Dropbox on it and an investigation, that information was still synchronizing back to their Dropbox account on their home computer for that entire length of time. It's kind of a, a scary scenario when you think about it. So what do you do? Well, we could take the atomic option and we can say nobody in the company is allowed to use these types of solutions but, and, and block it at the firewall. We've done it in some cases. Do we really want to, to hinder the productivity of our employees and our staff, and even for ourselves, ourselves for that matter, as, as owners? Um, you know, these tools are super produ productive. The ability to actually get to your data from a notebook, from a tablet when you're in quarter at a, at, a, at, a, at a customer's office, or on your iPhone when you're driving down the road, pull over, of course, and, you know, there's lots of laws against that. But the ability to actually get to all this information from wherever you're at is invaluable. Do we really want to block it and not let our employees have that? I don't think that's a good option here. So what would be a better option? Well, I think a better option would be you know, to have a solution in place that would give them the ability to be productive, tap into these new technologies, get the information across all their screens and wherever they need it, but as, as, as a business, be able to manage that, secure it, and keep that data safe. So, you know, we've rolled out with a solution called File Protect, and I'm not going to sit here and give you a sales job and all on the Splice and File Protect. We're going to have a webinar down the road on this. But a solution like our File Protect gives us the ability to actually manage that information, see what devices that they're syncing up to, see what information that, they're, that they have. As a matter of fact, we, they're already locked out of certain information on the network server, so that same information is the same information that could potentially be synchronized. So they can't synchronize information that they don't have access to, potentially. And then, should something happen, let's suppose we want to pull back the rights for that, we have the ability with a solution like this to actually cut off that device so that they can't get it on this device any longer and then extract that data back at the same time, pulling it back and making it so that that data no longer exists on the devices that they've been using. So effectively, we've secured it. We've actually, we've actually cut their access off to it. 
and uh, and and there's a whole host of other management features along with that, so that if we want to let them have the ability to install this at home, we can make it so it's password protected. Uh, in addition to the uh, the password protection they might have at their home computer. So to summarize some of the problems with Dropbox and Google Drive and applications like this, we don't have much company control over it. We don't have much control over whether or not they can get the account, whether they can use the account, and if we even we, we don't even know necessarily that our employees are doing it, and, and, and that's a bad thing. So we don't know where our data is at. Many of us, especially in our law firms that we support, have ethical responsibilities to know where the data is at and keep it safe. Um, so what do we do? You know, we look at different solutions. We, we come up with acceptable use policies for our employees and let them know what they can and can't do. We can restrict things at the firewall for different users. Uh, but more importantly, I think it's just very important to be vigilant today about what we're using and how we're syncing our files. Dropbox, Google Drive, um, you know, SugarSync and, uh, and SkyDrive, are these applications safe? Well, yeah, they're safe. I'm sure the data there is secure. And, you know, it, it's, it's a question of what you consider to be secure. I would suggest talking to us about it, not just taking it on your own and deciding, I'm just going to start using this without consulting anybody. Um, but I think if you want to take it a step further, I think you should look at a solution like our file sync. Uh, give us a chance to talk to you about it. If you want to, shoot me an email at jgast at splice.net. And I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope it was educational. We'll talk to you again next week. Take care.